stereotype of the race trackers, you know, that, you know, where you want to buy a watch, you know, uh, that type of thing uh, over the, a period of long time and tradition. And, and uh, it's a high class sport with a lot of high class people. But we got to we got to portray that image more than the other. We can't we can't have the news that, uh, uh, that we got a derby winner on one side of the page and the next column is saying that, it, you know, that sport is, you know, in trouble. We got medication issues and so forth. We're going to get we're, we're going to lose not only the fan base, we're going to get some federal intervention if we don't look out here. And uh, that isn't going to be good either. So I'm just saying, look, if, if you're going to be in these things, I, if I can make one comment to the young guys, I've been at this 50 some years. If I can make one comment to the young guys, the sport's wonderful. It's good the way it, it should be played. And it'll be good to you. You don't have to try to push the envelope or try to do something out of the uh, realm of maybe the, the strictest of rules. Just play the game right and it'll be damn good to you. Those guys are good trainers. I don't have any question with the three guys I named. I think Dutro's an excellent trainer. I think Chip is. I think Doug is certainly. A, but you can't portray that image. It's more than just training horses. It's it's a perception by the general public that we've got to present a little bit better picture. I think that it's become uh, the old tradition of uh, maybe having people learn the game. I'm talking about training and so forth. Uh, is, is changed. I think the fan base has changed. I think we're more into exotic wagering now instead of the old traditional wagering. And that, of course, causes, you know, a, a new feel for it. Um, I think the veterinarians have you know, been running rampant in a lot of places. And uh, the younger generation have a tendency to think they can't get along without them. So I think there's a lot of things that, you know, we, I think we get back to the basics that it's a wonderful sport. And a day at the races is a fun thing. And not get so caught up in maybe whether the take out in the trifecta is this or that, that we might have a chance. Derby's a little bit pressure packed. After the Derby, I think all of us, my colleagues, you know, other trainers, we take a deep breath and step back and say, well, we got past that one. This one is fun. The hospitality here is second to none. They, I mean, the way they treat you here is unbelievable. And uh, I think it's a little more fun, a little more relaxed. Uh, on Saturday, I think the tension builds up as much as any of them, but the days prior to it and everything are just a little bit more laid back. And another thing that develops a little camaraderie besides things like this is that we're all in the same barns over there, and so we get, we get to we get to share our thoughts, and we have a lot of fun with it. Where when you're at Churchill, you know you don't even see the other guys.